Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look all because I really just wanted to wear this liquid lipstick from Dosa Colors. It's the stone color in the Terra collection. I will have the link down below for you guys. And then I just thought I would do a cool little reverse smoky whatever. Like I said, I just wanted to wear this lipstick and not do something super basic on my eye. Um, but if you'd like to see this look, just keep watching. First off, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip primer. I use this every time I do my makeup, but I don't always show you guys. So I thought I would actually include it this time. All right, to prime my eyes, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on just a stiff, I think this brush came from like the Urban Decay One palette, the natural, whatever they're called. Naked, that's it. I can't think today. Um, and I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brow and then all over my lid. This is really excellent for cleaning up any brow hairs that A, you didn't feel like plucking, B, you didn't have time to, or just to make the brow a little more defined and clean. And then I just snuck in my septum piercing because it really freaks me out when I don't have it on. So it's here. <laughs> and now I am going to take just a bone colored shadow. I'm using block type for MAC. And I'm just going to place this from brow all the way down covering the lid. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier to blend everything out. Granted, I'm not doing a lot of shadows on my lid today. I'm using a 252. I've been using this a lot for the shadows on my lid just because if I'm going to put it all over, the 242 takes a little bit too long. So this is like the same brush, it's just bigger. With a 224, I'm grabbing a soft brown also for MAC and I'm placing this all kind of like as a transition shade and into my crease. But really this is only going to be used as a color on your lid so that your lid isn't too, it's going to give it some definition. I'm going to quit rambling about this stupid color and just say it's going to give a little bit of definition up here. On a MAC 221, I'm grabbing Crystal Avalanche and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And boom, you're done with everything I'm going to do on the top lid. I'm using Black Track for MAC on a 219 pencil brush, also from MAC. And I'm going to use this in my waterline, but then I'm gonna be buffing it down underneath my eye. I like black track a little bit better sometimes than a pencil, because I find that it goes on a little bit smoother and it lasts a little longer. After you've gotten both of your water lines filled, and you can use a pencil if you want to, I just like to use black track. I'm taking this and I'm applying a little bit of product, a little, you don't want to use too much, and going right underneath this, don't bring it down too far yet, and I'm going from outer all the way to the inner corner, and just placing this black track underneath. Don't worry, we're going to go back and smudge this out, so it's not going to be this harsh. Take a towel or a cloth or a paper towel or something and just wipe off the extra on your brush so that we're not applying more of black track. And then we're just gonna go underneath and buff this downward and soften the edges. Now, when you come to the outer corner, you kinda wanna flip that up a little bit. Don't have any of your shadows coming downward, like don't, or straight out because that will pull down the shape of your eye and you want your eye to always be lifted. So it should look something like this. All right, now I'm gonna grab my MAC Times 9 Purple Palette and another 221, and I'm gonna grab this middle shade right here, and I'm going to buff out this black track, and it's gonna make it have more of a purple smoky tint to it, and drag it up just a tiny bit and buff it down. Don't be afraid to take the color down because this is kind of what you want to do with a reverse smoky eye. And all the drama is going to be underneath instead of on top. I'm using the same brush, but I wiped off the extra again. And I'm grabbing this pinky purple shade right here. And this is going to go right below that purple, not too far, but right below it to kind of smoke it out a little softer. 
Now I'm just going in with a clean brush and just blending everything out so there's not a harsh line underneath your eye. Apply thought, <laughs> apply your favorite mascara right before we go in with false lashes. And make sure you do your top and bottom. And I am using Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash. For my lashes, I'm going to use Velour Doll Me Up. <laughs> if you want to use something that's a little softer, you might be able to make this a little bit more wearable. But obviously, that's not the look I was going for. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, these things, they're beautiful, but I have such a hard time putting them on. So we will see if this makes it in the video. We'll try. You guys, that will never happen again. So don't ever count on it. I don't know how I got those on. So my eyes are done guys, yay. <laughs> I made it through the lashes, who would have thought? But anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys real quickly that I do have this bronzer already on, the Luminous Bronze Light from Hourglass. I'm obsessed with this, I've been using it all the time. But now I'm gonna go in and contour using Taupe Blush from MAC right here, and my NARS Eda brush. I am contouring pretty heavily, so you guys feel free to do whatever you'd like. <laughs> it always cracks me up to watch the faces I make whenever I do this, you know, puckering my lips. I don't even know why that's necessary. I know where the product goes. I mean, geez. <laughs> I'm gonna highlight softly using Accentuate and my so soft 137 brush. I don't know if I've told you guys enough, but yeah, I'm obsessed with these new brushes. And you guys, I apologize, but I really want to use my little limited edition Seduced at Sea. If you have this blush, use it. It's amazing. If not, use something like Spring Sheen for MAC and you'll be good. Go back in and blend everything out with your, your blending brush or a MAC 187. Now this is the whole reason why I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to use this um, liquid lipstick from Dosa Colors and this is in stone. I'm obsessed with this color and yet I haven't even put it on my lips since that last video, which is why I wanted to wear it today. So go ahead and apply this if you have it. If not, you could pair it with a pink lip or something neutral and it'll work out beautifully. So that's the finished look guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will tell you that I am obsessed with this color. Like I said, I haven't put it on since my video, but that was only like two days ago. So <laughs> I love the formula. I love the way they feel. And I'm really hoping that Dose of Colors makes this color permanent. Um, I do like the other colors as well, but I'm very fond of this one. So maybe we can like all email them and tell them, you know, hey, make stone permanent. You know, just an idea, just throwing it out there. Anywho, if you want to get your hands on this color, the pack is the Terra collection and it is limited edition as of right now so get your hands on it but if you like this video please like comment subscribe and I appreciate you all thanks have a great one bye